things down, um, and so I'll start doing that. So first sentence, grammatical sentence that we'll look at, something like, syntax rocks. Okay, that's a illicit arrangement of words, two words. Syntax is a, a noun, rocks is a verb. So what we're seeing here is that a noun and a verb, can you see those? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> These two things can go together in that order and make a sentence. So I'll represent that this way. Okay? Nouns can come before verbs, and when they do, you can get sentences. And syntax rocks is just a particular example. Okay. So one thing I'm going to kind of presuppose is that you'll be able to discover what parts of speech words belong to. I'm hoping that you got this in third grade. <laughs> I, I got it in, in third grade on the third pass. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that you got it in third grade. So you, you know, you should find some way I can no. help you with this of discovering what things are nouns. What things are verbs? The other parts of speech that are relevant yeah, for right us there. are these things I call determiners. So those are words like the, every, some, many, most, much. There's a list of these on the handout you can download. <laughs> and you should also know what prepositions are. These are things like to, on, of, from, besides, and so on. Again, there's a list on the handout to give you a, a sample. And the last part of speech that I'll, I want you to know are uh, adjectives. Okay, so these are things like happy, bad, uh, dark, uh, electricityless, uh, <laughs> and things like that. Okay, adjectives. Again, there's a list on the handout. All right. So um, here's one way a sentence can look. We'll use these little trees, these diagrams that we've used before for syllables and for morphemes to represent how the words in a sentence are going together. Okay. Syntax rocks. Great. And we could write a rule that looks something like this. I'll have to do it like this, okay? So a sentence looks like this. A sentence is a noun followed by a verb. Okay, everyone, I want you to do there. See the rule? There it is. Okay, so this is just another way of saying this. And if you look on the handout, you'll see that I give you a series of rules. We're going to work towards those rules slowly. Uh, and they're in these two forms. I'll give you these rules that look like in this form, these tree forms, and I'll give them to you in this form too. Okay, these say the same thing. Okay, good, great. Well, there's more sentences, surprising, surprisingly, than syntax rocks. We have many other sentences. For instance, we have things like, uh, <laughs> the professor rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's a grammatical sentence. We have things like, uh, the good-looking Professor Rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sentence. Uh, we have sentences like, the handsome professor in front of the building rocks. Okay. Those are all good. And you'll notice that all I've done, the rocks part has stayed the same. Yeah, the verb has stayed the same. All I've done is I've, I've put before a longer string of words. Okay. And indeed, if you, if you look at all the sentences in English, you can observe that there's a sort of pattern there. There are a set of strings of words that can stand in the same place that this noun stands. And when followed by a verb, we'll get from those grammatical sentences. Okay. And those, that set of strings includes things like the professor, the handsome professor, right? the handsome professor here. Those are all things that can stand right before rocks and make a sentence, well, that's obviously true. <laughs> Ma'am. Are we going to talk about compound sentences is the question. Uh, perhaps. What are those? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, yeah, so a sent like two sentences in a way. Is that what you have in mind? The professor rocks. I went to the town and I was looking out. I went to the pound? When I was looking for the dog. 
when I was looking for the dog. Yeah. We are going to get to sentences that are long. Never, never that long. <laughs> but we will get to longer sentences like, like these. I'm not exactly sure that we'll get to either of those. Okay. Ma'am. Run quickly. Yeah. What about those? Yeah. So there are sentences. These are always sentences that are kind of directed at someone. Uh, commands, they're sometimes called. Yeah. Like, um, you know, listen up or uh, try harder or, uh, you know, go outside. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And there is no, it's just a verb and some other stuff. Uh, and there's no thing at the beginning, a subject, I guess, right? Um, those are actually, what's interesting about those sentences is that they're all, there's an understood subject and that understood subject is always something like you. Yeah. And so if we were to write out what's going on with those sentences, what we'd, what we'd probably do is, um, you know, we might imagine that one of the ways that you can say you is, and it's that that you're using in your sentence. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I won't. I won't ask you to do those if you don't ask me to do it. Okay. Okay. So, in order to get these new sentences that I taught you, we're going to have to allow yes, the thing that stands here at the beginning to well to be more than just a noun. It will have to be. It will have to allow such things as well the professor or the handsome professor. Those things. Okay. So what we need power, is we need to say that standing Oops. here can be more than just a single word. Strings. What can it be? Well, it can be just a noun. Okay. It can just be a single noun like <laughs> shit. For okay. It can be one of those things, but it can be more than that. It can be a string of words, like in the professor, it's a determiner followed by a noun. So another thing that it can be is a determiner followed by a noun. Sorry about it being pink. Um, you like pink? You show. Um, now, what we want to do is somehow collapse. I mean, we've got two options here. This thing that we're making can be just a noun or it can be a determiner in a noun. So the determiner is optional. So that's indicated by putting that inside parentheses. So that a parentheses means this thing is optional. So this is a way of abbreviating two rules in a way. One that says a noun phrase can be a determiner and a noun. And another thing it can be is just a noun. Okay. So um, yeah. Another thing that we found that can start a sentence here is something like the handsome professor, right? Something funny? Uh, handsome is an adjective, and it can stand between the determiner and the noun. Actually, it can't be anywhere else, right? You can't say handsome the professor or the professor handsome. These aren't grammatical orderings, but it can be right here. So we'll, we'll add that option. An adjective can be found here between the determiner and the noun, and it's optional. Okay. <laughs> so far so good? So if we were to talk about, ouch, <laughs> so here's the verb rocks, okay, yeah, and if we were to like diagram out the sentence that's made up of more than just a noun, like the handsome professor, what this rule would say is that what we have here is a noun phrase that starts with a determiner, the, okay. The next thing is an adjective, good looking, okay. And the third thing is professor, okay. Right. You see? So, you know, what you're going to have to learn is how to go from 
strings of words to diagrams like these. Oh, my legs. And what we'll do is we'll develop these kinds of rules that will steer how you go from strings of words to, uh, to these sorts of diagrams. Let's see, how much time do I have? Five minutes. Okay. Um, let's do one more, okay? Let's take one more step. I feel sorry. Yes. Rocks is a verb. Um, I mean, there's this rock, which is a noun. Um, I mean, in something like uh, I rock, what does rock mean, actually? I, I Wouldn't it be an adjective? <laughs> to rock. But what does it mean? I mean, does it mean I have to... <laughs> so glad is, it, is it the same thing as I'm awesome? So that meaning of rock, you know, this, this thing rocks, that's a verb that means something like... Uh, wow, wow. <laughs> to be awesome. Yeah, be awesome. I, sorry, yeah. I, maybe rocks, I shouldn't have picked rocks. Maybe I should have picked something like uh, smells. <laughs> That's a verb. Can you see that as a verb? Yeah. I mean, if I smell, I'm verbing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the next step we're going to take is to see that in place of this verb, we can also get a, a set of strings of words that all of them can hook up in this spot and make a good sentence. So, you know, in, a, in addition to rocks, we can get things like um, eats, eats nato. Okay. Eats is a verb. Nato is a, do you know what nato is? Fermented soybeans. Fermented soybeans. Okay, look. Yeah. <laughs> He knows. <laughs> He's lived through this. So yeah, I mean, no turl, no Burgistan, and no, never, ever, ever order natto. It is like vomit <laughs> in bean form. Okay? So it's possible to have a sentence that's made up of a verb plus a noun. Yeah. Eats natto. It's also possible to have a sentence that following this noun phrase, you get something like um, pet the dog. Verb plus determiner and noun. Determiner and noun is a noun phrase. So what we're seeing is that the things that can stand here include not just verbs, but also verbs plus noun phrases. Okay? So we're going to want to record that fact as well. We're going to want this thing to be a verb phrase. So more than just a single word, a verb, we'll want to say that it can be more than one word. And the rule for a verb phrase will look like this. It will look like this. <laughs> a verb phrase can look like this. It can be a verb, and following that verb, you can have a noun phrase. But the noun phrase is optional. Okay? So this would allow us to build sentences like, uh, he ate the dog, he ate the tasty dog, <laughs> he eats dogs, okay? All of those things after eats are noun phrases, one of these guys, all right? And so if we were to make that happen in this sentence, this would change to something that's a verb, like eats, plus a noun phrase that might just have a noun in it, like dogs. <laughs> and I think this is what we should leave on the wall. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. Beautiful. That was well executed.